Hello, my name is Dean Cartover, and this is Current Buzz. Today we have Deborah Kendrick and Mike Kendrick. He's the president of the Chemstrick Veterans Memorial Park that we're going to talk about. Uh, they're trying to get more people uh, added on to the Memorial Park that's on uh, North uh -huh. Road and uh, Route 4, right? Right. More, mm -hmm. more or less, if people don't know where it is. We'll talk about that a little more. Um, I thank you for coming. I appreciate that you come and talk about it because you're trying to recruit more people to have to more names, on, more names on it and yeah. everything. Now, um, I have a question right off the bat, right? <laughs> uh, I have a lot of questions, but um, I have a friend who moved to Florida from Chelmsford. Can he apply and put his name on the... If uh, he yeah. lived in town he, for more than five years. Oh, he yes. did. He yeah. did. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. absolutely. All right. I don't know if he has his name on. I just, I just was asking. Yeah. If somebody no, absolutely. Okay. So the uh, Chemsford Veterans uh, Memorial Park, we're going to talk about a little history about it, right? Yeah, how it formed. It, it, the dedication was um, 1992. 1992. Mm -hmm. And um, you'll explain it in regards to what you have to do in regards to be added to the monument. Okay, so. so we have a few criteria. Okay. Um, and you had to have been a veteran of okay. U.S. military service abroad or stateside. And that was doesn't have to be in a conflict. It could be peacetime also. Okay, good. A lot of people don't know that because I have a friend who didn't think that yes, he was. Yes, a lot of people um, have yeah. thought that yeah. over the years. And, so let's and, clear that up. And you right. don't have to be uh, someone that, you know, it, um, a family member that has passed away, you know, living and Deceased, deceased members you know, I see. of okay. all wars and conflict, right? Not just recent stuff. Oh, okay. So we could go to back to World War One, oh, World oh, War Two, or something absolutely. like that. Yes. 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 So how would you get the records from World War One? Who who would have that? Or or well, we depend on the families to provide those records. Oh, do you? Yeah, we don't. Yeah. We're not going to be doing the research. They well, who gets to. a DD two hundred and fourteen? There's a lot of guys. <laughs> that I talked to, where's your DD-214? Oh, it's up in the attic, it's down in the basement or something like that. How do you get it? Or do you go to Regina um, at, at the veterans? Can you, they can, that's right. They can go to Regina, right? Yes. Uh, and and the veterans Regina agent. Jackson, she's a veteran agent in Chemsford. Correct. And get a copy of their DD-214 as long as they're family members. Correct. Oh, I think so, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I All think right. absolutely. We've had a few people yeah. already that have done that. So. Oh, okay. So she, they, I know they have it on, 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 on computer. Mm -hmm. So she could just look that up. Yeah. And, make and, and there are websites that you can apply. If you're a family member, you can apply to receive um, that service member's uh, discharge papers. And they will send them to the family member. You're talking about the government in St. Louis. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's it's uh, you. It's a standard form 180 that you could fill out to get um, get your brother, sister, mother, whatever yeah. is yeah. DD 214. Yeah. yeah, and medals and so forth yes, like that. Correct. It's correct. One archive way or drive, uh, St. Louis. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So they changed yeah. the name. Yeah. The archive now. Yeah, and and I don't know if if. Um, Sometimes uh, one of the branches is at a different location, so you you really have to check to see. You know, like um, Army would be somewhere. Oh yeah, high, that's right. That's and right. The, the Air Force may be in a different location. I see. Right. Right. So, right. And, we, and we have to remember that there was a big fire in 1972 in St. Louis, yeah. and a lot of records have, have uh, 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 burnt, burnt, and we destroyed. can't get destroyed. Yeah. That's a word. And <laughs> and. Uh, but you can get them in Concord. There's archives there where you can call them up in Concord at the armory there and get your uh, a relative's uh, information, mm -hmm. and they'll supply it. But I'm sorry. Keep on telling me what is oh, the criteria. The criteria. That's so right. the next criteria is honorably discharged or presently serving in okay. the armed forces. How do you prove presently serving? I assume you have a military, military ID. ID. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A copy of that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. The military ID. Right, right. That and we then, all as had. We know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. As we know it. Yeah. A Chelmsford resident during service or a Chelmsford resident for at least five years. Okay. Uh, proof of service, which is the DD 214 or the honorable discharge paper. And then, lastly, a check or money order for $200. 
That's that's yeah. pretty reasonable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you know what the cost has skyrocketed. Skyrocketed. Yeah. So yeah. we have to pay for the granite to be obtained in quarried in Westford transported to Vermont for polishing and engraving, wow. and then transported back here. Transported oh, back. Wow, okay. So the costs yeah. are enormous. Who adds the names? We Here, locally? Or Vermont. Vermont yeah. adds the names. Yeah. Vermont. It's cost effective to have Vermont uh, engrave the names as, as opposed to having it done here. Um, the stones we have now are, we, we consider them fully populated with names. Um, you know, some people will say, can I just have my father's name put on there? You know, no, you can't um, because of the symmetric um, way that everything is done. Right. Um, and the cost for that is, is phenomenal. prohibitive. Oh, to add, add, yeah. add yeah. one name. Yeah. Yeah. One it's name. between 100 to $200 just to have the truck come out there to engrave a name. Right. And then whatever the cost of the letters are per letter. Per letter. And, and size. Because I had a relative recently who passed away and was well over two hundred dollars just yeah. to get the name engraved mm -hmm. on it. On so that's stone, pretty on reasonable. An existing stone. On the existing stone, yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. pretty yeah. reasonable. So yeah. you know we take uh, when we buy stones we have to buy two mirror image stones because oh, of the way and, the pop and the, size. And size. size. All right. Two very two similar stones cut similar, um, and we provide the names, um, and then they're sent up to Vermont, and, and they do the engraving. Okay. So we have to have a fully populated front and back, um, you know, cost effectively, right. that, that's how it would work. Um, the DD-214 is, is a separation of papers. It's the Bible. A hundred years from now, people will look at the DD-214 and see what medals you have. Mm -hmm. If you have medals and you're wearing medals, let's say, at an event, and it's not on your DD-214, you can't wear those medals. Right. And if you want to change that, uh, you have to put in for a DD-215 which I did uh, the last couple of years, yep. because a lot of units uh, won awards as unit, and it's not on your DD-214. Yeah. So you have to uh, uh, amend that. Correct. So Yeah, and, and I, I had that same situation for my medals. Um, I was with the, um, when I got to Vietnam, I was with the 3rd Tactical Fighter Wing, and I was um, an aircraft electrician on the F-100 fighters. Okay. Um, on my 214, it's not showing the medals that the squadron has been assigned. There you go. So, um, you know, yeah, and then, I'll, I'll help you. I'll help yeah. you with your DD-214. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you're we'll, doing we'll, a good job. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm getting you yeah. going, right? Yeah. Uh, Ken? Yeah. And then I, you know, moved um, um, on the recycling um, or the step down of the base. I was moved to another base to a different squadron the 21st Tactical Air Support Squadron, which were the bird dogs, the 01s, 02s, um, and I did the same type of work there. They were awarded um, uh, ribbons and medals you know, for service that they've done. Um, so yeah, the, the situation the, is there. There's, so. uh, there's regulations, there's Army regulations. If you go online, you can look at what units yeah. were awarded with medals. Now, if your unit was awarded the Presidential Unit Citation and it's not on your DD-214, it means nothing. Yeah. So, I mean, that has to be adjusted. We'll, we'll talk later. Okay. We're, we're talking okay. about okay. the monument. Okay. But, <laughs> I mean, but down the road, I mean, down the road, people should know this. I mean, they should yeah, Absolutely, be because, it. Like, you know, you just assume, you know. Yeah. Oh, the, you know. What kind of what kind of attitude did the uh, recorder have that day? Right. Well, I didn't feel like putting down something. L let me ask. You, yeah, exactly. Or it's it's the clerk typing yes, out. Yes. Let me ask you this question: You were in Vietnam. You got the Vietnamese service ribbon, and there's different campaigns, and you wear a, a service bronze star on that ribbon. Mm -hmm. did, does your DD-214 say how many? Stars. I honestly don't remember if All it right. does or not. Well, but I, I will, will definitely check it. Yeah, <laughs> give me a call. We'll we'll yeah. talk about it. All right, so okay. now we have um, the DD-214 plus the check Correct. plus the address to An mail. application. I think we have it on, on here, uh, the address. I think it's, it's there. That's it, right? Yes, yes. Um, Actually, see. you can get an application also from Regina. She has them okay. in, in, yep. the, in, in the, the veterans' town office. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, or you can access um, our website, 
and get the information from that. Right. And there's also um, an address, an email address, where you can request that. I don't know if it's, is it good to have a camera shot of these uh, things? Uh, our camera guy, would, would, yeah. Yeah. maybe he could, he could zoom in. I, I don't know if he can zoom in on that, but if he can get a close-up of that, he's on that side. Now accept yes. the names of new stones at Vegas Memorial Park. Cost is $200. Uh, uh, yeah, it doesn't look and like the dedication is expected November 2019. We'd like to get it done yeah. for Veterans Day. Before Veterans Day. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. It yeah. all depends on how many names come in. We right. need to fill a stone. If we don't fill the stone, it you, won't be done until we do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's important that you come on the show and and, and get us, the word and out. Get the yeah. word out, and, and I'll I, tell I you, I think it's important. Every time we've added stones from the first dedication, which right. was 1992, immediately after that, we'll have a flurry of activity where people will come and say, "Oh, I didn't know. I I didn't yeah. I didn't yeah. know this was being done. How can I do it?" We try to get the word out as much as possible. Yeah. Well, that's why you're on the current buzz, to Thank get you. the yeah. word out. Thank you. <laughs> you're no, welcome. And we, we posted in the uh, Chelmsford Independent, right. um, on cable TV. Uh, we, we even put um, an ad in the, uh, we will be putting an ad in the, like the Lowell Sun, you know, things like that. Right. And, and we have always done that. And, and people are still saying, I didn't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. and, and I've run into a couple of people they have said, where is the park? Chelsea, All right, where Chelsea is the people? park? Yeah. Explain. <laughs> well, I mean, there are some people that don't even know there's a North Chelmsford post office. Oh, yeah. I know in, that. In, yes. okay. in Chelmsford. Yeah. Yeah. And they lived in yeah. Chelmsford yeah. for 20 yeah. years. Yeah. 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 Well, the the Chelmsford Veterans Memorial Park is on North Road. Okay. Um, against, it's right there at the between. parking lot between um, McCarth uh, McCarthy's parking lot and the old police station. I knew you were going to say the old police which station. Is the yeah. Which, which is, is the school Which is the school administration office. building. Yeah. Right. Yes. yes. Um, it's right in between it. Right. And, and um, if there's no school, you're, you're welcome to park in the um, school parking lot. Right. And, and there's a bridge, and what brings you right into the park. Right. So, so it's well, right tell there. me the history of uh, how so this started. That brings yeah. up an interesting part of the history. Um, a veteran in town, Mike Kinney, who was also a town employee, had this vision that he wanted a veterans park. 1988 was when he started okay. to promote this. And he actually went to the selectmen in November of 1988 saying that he would like to research this. They approved it. The original location that they talked about was the ball field that's at the corner of Wilson the Street. The and Chelmsford Street. Oh, that's a nice location. I which like that. Which was, is nice. I think at and that time it wasn't really used. It was sort of a pickup yeah. Yeah, kind of no, ball yeah. field. Yeah, they hadn't I done any improvements it to like it. Like an old sandlot ball. Exactly. Was, Almost. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. yeah. Um, and from there, uh, there was some discussion about whether that was a dedicated park already or not. And so they moved a little ways down. Mike proposed to put it in actually at the edge of the parking lot of the Little League fields. Right. Um, kind of uh, adjacent to the Lucier Tax Company building. Right, yeah. Well, that had to be a much scaled down version of what he had originally envisioned. And then there were those issues about parking there, and then the, the Little League wanted to expand and increase their fields there. So yeah. by 1990, June of 1990, the site was proposed the North Road site was proposed, which was really ideal, best solution for all of, of those things. All right. mm -hmm. So it took from 1990 till July 3rd of 1992. 1992 which is the day of the dedication. To right. actually dedicate the original stones. And there were nine at that time. Okay. Since then, we've actually added stones six times. Six times? Six that times. many times? Yeah. Six yeah. Times. Yeah, we're talking. Uh, I think one time there were two stones on each side, and then every other time was just one stone on each side, mm -hmm. you know, to keep it symmetrical. At a time. Right. Yeah, At a right. time. Right. Because that's time. what we would yeah. fill. Right. So, so that, that's basically the history of it. It's it is. A, yeah, it's it interesting. Is. Yeah. And, and Mike You guys carry it on to now. And Mike, you're the president. Uh, uh, yeah. 
How many times do you meet? <laughs> How many times do you meet? We meet once a month. Once a month. Um, you know, we take the winter off. Um, yeah. But because of... Florida or something like no, that. No, yeah. We take the summer off, not the winter. <laughs> oh, we take the... Well, yeah, we take the winter, the summer off, actually. <laughs> right. So, I take the winter off. He <laughs> <laughs> takes the summer off. Um, you know, we... Indeed. But we... Because of the project that we're trying to do right now... Right. Um, we, we, we meet once a month, and um, we try to keep things active. Where are we? What's going on? Uh, are people responding to what we're doing? That kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, with us yeah. putting it up on, on, on the screen in regards to the address, and once they have their DD-214 together, and once they, and once they get... Uh, what else? So the money. The money. The money yeah. is, uh, yeah. is, is money. And the application. Yeah. And the application. You know, it, so you get the application online. You just download it. And, and, um, I think it gets sent out, actually. One of yeah. the other committee oh. members yeah. handles this. Yeah. Oh, I see. You request oh. it, and it'll, it will get oh, okay. Yeah, Regina will give you a handout. Okay. Um, this is the application. Okay. It's just this. You know, on yeah. the website is um, will be my email address and um, our historian right. who was... Carol Coughlin, okay. uh, our two email addresses are there. But we did create a um, email address specifically for this purpose. Okay, what's the email address? Um, it's right. CVMP, Chelmsford Veterans Memorial Park, CVMP Stones, with an S, at Comcast.net. So it's all one word, you know, <coughs> okay. CVMP Stones okay. at Comcast.net. All right, so... Um, and we... We will send you an application um, if you request one. All right. So, yeah. That's great. If I can go back to the meetings. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, I'll just add that we have just finished a big project. We upgraded all the lighting to LED lighting. Oh, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yes. Um, so we reached out to the people whose names were on the stones. Um, we have created a database, yeah. and we try to keep it current. Um, there are still a number of names there that we have no contacts for, which is maybe at some point we'll be able to list all those names on the website, see if anybody can help us locate people. I see. But the town support was incredible, yes. absolutely incredible. And we, we'd like to say thank you to everyone for your, mm -hmm. your so outpouring support. The lights are in now? Yes. The lights are up and running. Yes. yes. Okay. Now, you have other monuments there. And I'm, I'm always uh, inquisitive in regards to the other monuments. Mm -hmm. And I made a copy of uh, the monuments in Chelmsford that the uh, uh, Historical Commission made up. <coughs> so you have a Desert Storm monument? Yes. Now, who yes. pays for that? Well, interestingly enough, that was the very there. first stone that was ever <coughs> at, at <coughs> That, so that stone was there prior to the oh. the main stones, the main stones okay, that so you see right. now. And yeah. that was the Chelmsford Emblem Club yeah. that paid for that. And yeah. they are um, kind of the auxiliary to the Elks. I see. They are. Oh, so yeah. they placed that. And that originally was kind of up on the rise <coughs> in the grassy area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Closer to the administration building or the I old see. post yeah, office. Right. I mean, the it old was, police station. And it was station. moved. And it was yes. moved. I see. Once we created that lower pad. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I, I like this inside stuff. What's about the POW uh, MIA uh, monument that's there, too? There's other monuments there if people don't know. There are. Correct. There Correct. are other monuments set off in the back. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and the POW, do you know who donated that? Um, it, it was just part of putting the, um, the whole package I together. See. I see. Yeah. That was because, dedicated at the same you know, time. Because oh, okay. of the Vietnam, uh, we um, really emphasized POW MIAs because we had so many. Um, so that was, and that's where the flag came in, right, the right. POW MIA flag. So uh, it's part of our history, if you will, but it's a representation of... <coughs> All POW MIAs from all the wars. It's not just for Vietnam. You know, it's for everybody today I and tomorrow. I saw the soldiers and boy, my hero stone. How did that yeah, come about? That's a great story. Uh, yeah, it is. So, in the original dedication of the park, um, there was a soldier in full gear right. and a little boy who was Mike Kinney's nephew, actually. Oh, wow. And it made um, just a great visual presentation. So the original idea was 
there was going to be a bronze statue of the soldier holding the little boy's hand. The cost was prohibitive for yeah. that. So uh, we, we changed to a granite monument, and that was dedicated um, in June of 1995. So three years I later, see. that mm -hmm. stone was placed there. And then there's the Merrimack Valley Vietnam Veterans Memorial Stone. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, that's, that's my organ. Yeah, no, that's the organization. Uh, another organization that I belong to. Right. Um, and we were founded in 82. Um, so we, you know, um, got to the point where our members were passing away and we had no, um, I don't know. Monuments. Place to honor Mon them. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, place to honor them. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So we we bought a stone and we put it in the lower pad, and that's what the lower the that's one of the purposes of the lower pad we call it, and that's as you come across the bridge mm -hmm. it, to the right. There's right. a lower pad there. Uh, what's the Vietnamese stage monument? Uh, uh, that's what I no veterans oh. stage <laughs> monument. Well, at one mm -hmm. time there were plans to create a bandstand and a stage um, off to the side of the pond. Yeah. Unfortunately, that never came to fruition. It yeah. had I too see. many problems associated yeah. with it. I see. And that was just further down in the, um, in the prop, lot. yeah, further down oh, in the parking lot. lot. Yeah. It wasn't right there at the monument. I see, so I see. Just further down. Okay, so, so a contributor stone, what's that? Uh, that's, um, that's, that's, that's it. We call it the donation stones right. also. So. Right. Um, so you could add a name that somebody's deceased? Is yes. that my understanding? If, if, uh, what we like to do is um, we've promoted with the local funeral homes that many people give donations in lieu of flowers. I see. If someone wanted to do that at the park and oh, their wow. contributions accumulated to $500, then we will place their name on that. You don't have to be a veteran. Whoever's name. Oh. It's a special yeah. contributor. It's to just the it's, oh, that's for nice. donations you yeah. know, of five hundred dollars or more to would, the veterans. It, if it was a veteran, would you put a V next to their name or would um, no. 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 It was just you just no. put their name. Yeah, yeah. we have several people who are, are listed on the main stones and who are also on that stone. I see. Um, and, and you I'm can one use of it. <laughs> Already? Yeah. Uh, and and it was um, when you retired, right? We yeah, did. when I retired. Um, we said, we had a party, we didn't have any gifts, but we said, if you'd like, you can contribute to the Veterans Park. So an occasion oh, wow. like that yeah. would have your name placed yeah. on oh, that Oh, wow, that's, so. that's interesting. Yeah. Wow, so. yeah, thank you for doing all this in, in wow. Chemsworth. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think it's a good idea. Uh, we're talking about the uh, Chemsworth Veterans Memorial Park, if you just tuned in, um, and... Uh, Mike is the president of the park, and Deborah is on the board, <laughs> and there are a few members on the board, right? There are about yes, 12, 12 members. Of us. Yes. 12 of us. And yes. they make a decision in regards to who should be on the stone, on the monument, mm -hmm. and you need a DD214 DD and $200, right? right? A, a, it has to be honorable discharge. And yeah. an application. Yeah. And an application. Yeah, the DD-214 yeah. or a Now, uh, does the board look at the DD-214? Yes, yes. absolutely. Would have, have you ever anybody that had a bad conduct uh, discharge? Uh, or uh, any, not to our recollection, or no. general and discharge? And we do, it does say on our application uh, that the final decision is up to the board. Good point. So yeah. we do yeah. have yeah. some discretion there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but it has to be honorable. That, that's Ab yes. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So, so that, that's interesting. I, I'm, I'm glad that I, yeah. I brought you on board. Can I mention one more thing? Yeah, sure. We've got about less than a minute. Okay. We recently added a box that that's a, a, looks like a mailbox. It's red, white, and blue. Okay. And it's for folks to dispose of old flags. Used Many flags. Many people that, don't know what to do oh, yeah, with Oh, that's right. Um, with their old flags. I have some old flags in my trunk. Okay. <laughs> yes. You can put them right put them inside right in the, the box. box. Okay. And and then they're disposed of. Properly. And the box is right on the other side of the bridge.